स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दीज नॉट्स हैव बीन अपलोडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड योर नॉट्स दिए स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर I will clear secondary growth in pinus root. Not only in our last lecture we have discussed structure of primary root, structure of young pinus root, but in this lecture I will clear secondary growth in old root. Dear students, in case of pinus root, secondary growth develops. It begins at early stages of young root, and then secondary growth occurs. due to development of two types of camium meristematic cells one type of camium that develops in cortex it is core camium or it is phallogen second type of camium meristematic tissue that develops in vascular tissue it is vascular camium first of all i will discuss core camium dear students this core camium which develops in outer peripheral region of primary cortex this core campion having meristematic cells it is named phallogen and its cells undergo mitotic divisions to give rise dead cells or cork cells or this is phallum in outer peripheral region and the core campion also gives rise cells towards center towards inner side these are secondary cortex or phalloda no down all these this core cambium it is phallogen these dead cells cork or phallum and this secondary cortex it is phalloda this phallodum core cambium phallogen cork it is phallum collectively constitute parida second type of cambium that is vascular cambium dear students this vascular cambium and this vascular cambium having meristematic cells dividing the cells which develops as some parenchymatous cells of vascular bundle between xylem and phloem means between primary xylem and primary phloem become meristematic and this cambium which develops in vascular tissue it is vascular cambium it cells undergo mitotic divisions to give rise secondary phloem towards periphery in outer region while secondary xylem towards inner side due to development of this secondary phloem primary phloem that becomes crest this is very thin poor layer of this crest primary phloem because secondary phloem that develops in axis this is secondary xylem and in this secondary xylem large size of xylem tracts are present but not down in case of pinus root secondary growth no xylem vessels competitive exam students these are well developed xylem tracts and this vascular cambium which give rise secondary growth of vascular tissue it produce annual rings dear students these are growth rings and these growth rings may be counted by a special type of instrument that is increment borer and the study of counting of these annual rings or growth rings which may be analyzed and that scientific study it is dendrochronology in this vascular tissue these are medullary rays and the medullary rays are of two types primary medullary rays which develop just opposite this protoxylum from this vascular cambium and these primary medullary rays which connect this primary phloem to this primary xylem and the secondary medullary rays and these secondary medullary rays which remain which persist only in xylem tissue dear students this medullary rays primary secondary medullary rays which involve in the conduction of substances particularly in lateral conduction of 
substances. This is all about secondary growth in pinus root. Dear students, in last lecture we have discussed primary structure. This is secondary structure of pinus root. The secondary growth occurs due to development of two types of cambium, one type in cortex that is core cambium, it is phallogen. And this phallogen produces dead cells, cork cell phallum in outer region and this secondary cortex in inner side. This secondary cortex, it is phallodum. Not down competitive exam students, this phallodum secondary cortex, this core cambium, it is phallogen and this cork phallum collectively constitute pariterm. And this vascular cambium which develops because some parenchymate cells present between primary xylem and phloem become aristomatic that is vascular cambium. And again the vascular cambium it cells undergo mitotic division. As a result in outer region centrifugally it gives secondary phloem. Due to excessive growth of this secondary phloem, this primary phloem which becomes very poor, it is crashed. This is crashed primary phloem. And this vascular cambium produces centripetally the secondary xylem. And this secondary xylem which consists of large size, well developed brackets but not down, no xylem vessels. In this vascular tissue, two types of medullaries, primary medullaries, secondary medullaries. Primary medullaries which develop opposite to this protoxylum. And these medullaries, primary medullaries which connect this primary phloem to this primary xylem. While these secondary medullaries which remain inside the secondary xylem. Dear students, the vascular tissue that gives annual rings, growth rings and the study of growth rings by a special instrument that is increment borer and that scientific study and analyzing the growth rings which help in counting the age of particular root. Dear students, this entire scientific study of counting the annual rings, growth rings and analyzing these growth rings to study the different environmental conditions of particular time period. That study is dendrochronology. This is all about secondary growth in pinus root.